breaking news overnight. Police say a home invasion took a deadly turn and the people breaking in are the ones killed. This is in Northeast Austin on Palmer Lane between East Yeager Lane and Harris Branch Parkway. Yeah, there's the map and Austin police tell us three people targeted an apartment in this area. All three were shot, only one survived. KXAN's Candy Rodriguez is live near the scene with what police are saying happened. Candy. Tom, hey, since we last checked in with you at 5, we have seen some police officers leaving the scene, but you can see it remains blocked off this section here at Creek side apartments and some of the tenants who may not have been aware of the shooting are starting to wake up and are asking us questions as to what exactly happened. Police say people living inside one of these apartments shot and killed the people trying to enter their home. They have not said what may have led to this attempted home invasion or if the people who lived in the apartment knew those they shot. The shooting happened last night around 1030. Police say two people died inside the apartment. They found a third person shot in the parking lot. They believe this person was able to run away after getting shot. That created a pretty large crime scene as police had to evacuate people living there in that in the apartment section of Creekside Apartments here and block off parts of the complex. We have multiple crime scenes. Um, one of the suspects was found in the common area in the parking lot. So we're trying to preserve the evidence and therefore we don't want um, residents to just drive and, and drive into the crime scene. Going in depth, last year lawmakers passed a new law that protects gun rights of tenants. It prevents apartment complexes or other landlords from writing lease agreements that make their apartment communities gun free zones. That means Texans living in apartment complexes are allowed to keep a gun that they legally own inside their apartment. We're live in Northeast Austin this morning. Candy Rodriguez, KXAN News.